Hi everyone and uh, welcome back. So we are talking about use effect hook, right? In the previous set of videos, we talked about use state and now we are talking about different aspects of use effect hooks with different examples. So in this video, we are going to extend our previous example. And what we are going to do is we are going to make a real API call. You can say that we are going to make an API call to the country's data. Okay, so here, I am just using the previous uh, video example only. I just did cleanup and I'm just writing this URL. So we are hitting this URL and we are getting all the countries and the countries data we are setting in the result in, I mean in the data and we are iterating onto the data. Okay. So we will talk about different examples. Now, this is the data we are getting. Can we implement some kind of a search because this API call will trigger once we got the data inside this state. That's it. Now, uh, what I will do is I will create a state and I will capture what user is typing in the text field. And based on that, we will actually search the country name. Set key initialize that with empty array. And here I can actually have on change. Here based on whatever you are typing, we will actually do set key. I will pass e dot target dot value. Okay, and uh, the value for this is a key. Now, whenever we change the state, what we wanted to do is we wanted to filter the data. So, use effect hook can you can write multiple times. There is no boundary that you can just have this once only. Like use state hook, you can use many times. Similarly, use effect hook you can do. Now, we need to have one more state here which is a filtered list let's call it as a filtered list or let's call it as a list only and here we are calling set list and this is also initialized with empty but once initially you get uh, the data from the use effect then we are actually updating this set list also with the result which you got Okay, now list and data both have the same value, but when you start typing this, we are actually passing key as a dependency in this hook. So what it is saying is whenever the key is entered in the text field, we will start applying filtering from the data value, right? So what we need is there are two state, one is data and one is uh, list. So data will have a master list and this list state will have the filtered value okay let's call it as a filter or set filter filter list or set filter list filter list and set filter list it is also same thing here we are calling set filter list we are initially set now when you start typing anything in the text field, so this use effect hook will trigger because here uh, key is getting changed. So this use effect will uh, come into effect and here based on key, we have, we have to actually find out or we have to filter out the item. So const list equal to what do we have is we have the master data inside data I mean this country's data so here we can do a filter filter or what you can do is so let's do filter and what you can do is i dot so this is inside this we actually need to filter based on the name okay so i dot name dot to lower case to lowercase so i dot name dot to lowercase dot includes includes this key which uh, we have entered then we are going to return this otherwise we will be just skipping it and here we are calling set filter list equal to this new list which we just got okay and we will actually iterate this data onto the filtered list only. 
so whenever the filter list is getting changed based on what you are typing this country list will be updated which we are showing on the UI data is still same because this is a master list and here we have filtered list based on whatever you are typing so what we are doing data is an array dot filter and here i dot name dot to lower case i think everything is fine includes is available on the string we are checking key okay if we see any error we'll try to fix this okay this is working right right so this is how basic filtering we have created right now the only you just need to think how to design your application right you can have you can use huge state to manage all different kind of state properties okay if you want to trigger something if you want to trigger something based on the changes which user is doing like this text field user is typing something and you also need to filter some data right so when user is typing something something will change and based on that after rendering happened you want it to do something then you can use use effect hook just pass the dependency so that whenever this key is getting changed this use effect hook will trigger and here you will always have the latest filtered result available in this fil filter state filtered list and same we are rendering okay this is just an example i wanted to show this example we can improve we will be improving in the next video further